Assalamu alaikum dear friends today I am here to explain a telling the analysis of variance and of our important MCQs in 2020 that MCQs are very very important for you and each each step and each each MCQs of that video are very very important, important, important for you so, so don't skip any step and any MCQs I will tell the reasons I will tell the here reasons why the MCQs are correct so must watch this reasons and each MCQs so must watch this video completely till end if you want to gain more concepts so let's start the video here is the, uh, here is the first MCQs first MCQs is very very easy everyone knows that the analysis of variance is abbreviated as ANOVA as I have, I have uh, shown here analysis of variance ANOVA MCQs we have clear that concept that analysis of variance is abbreviated as ANOVA. So next moving second MCQs. Second MCQs is very very important for you. Must remember that ANOVA is introduced by Sir R. A. Fisher. So must remember that ANOVA variance as an ANOVA is always introduced by Sir R. A. Fisher. So must remember that key point. Now moving the third. Third MCQ is very very important for you for testing more than two mean. We know that I have already discussed that we test mean population mean first uh, we test mean population mean or difference of mean. I have already discussed we can discuss uh, z distribution t distribution in test of population mean. But in here for testing more than two mean that is mu one mu two absolute mu k in this we always use ANOVA so must remember that don't use t distribution because t distribution uh, always t distribution always test mean and difference of means but not more than two means but ANOVA is first but ANOVA is first which we test for different mean mu1 mu2 mu3 mu4 episode so must remember that ANOVA is can test more than two means there so that MCQs is very very important for you now mean that four MCQs four MCQs is said that in one way ANOVA total sum of scales is equal to very very easy not uh, not difficult in one way ANOVA total sum of scale as it shows sum of scales as as shows sum of scares as that shows sum of scares here given that total sum of scares is equal to always within sum of scares plus between sum of scares so must remember that in one way ANOVA total sum of scares always equal to within sum of scares that within sum of scares also called error sum of scares within within sum of square as it shows sum of squares within us uh, sum of square is equal to we can say that is called error sum of squares is called as error sum of squares so must remember that key point i tell you that within sum of square is equal to error sum of square and uh, we can say that within our sum of square also called as Error sum of scale. I hope that you have cleared that concept. Now moving that between. Second step. We can say that SSW is equal to SSC. Very simple. SS sum of scale W shows within SS and E shows error. Now second point. Second point is very 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 important for you. Between sum of scale must remember that key point i am telling you which nobody tells you about that between sum of square is equal to we can say that also called column sum of square also called column sum of square so must remember that between sum of square also called column sum of square we can say that s s b always equal to s s c must remember that key point within sum of scale always equal to error sum of scale and between sum of scale always equal to column sum, sum of scale. I hope that you have cleared that concept. So we have cleared that concept now in that in two way analysis of variance total sum of scale is equal to always 
sum of the SSR shows rho mean sum of scale. Must remember that key point I'm telling you that SS. Now moving the second second MCQs, uh, five MCQs in two way. Here in two way analysis, total sum of scale is equal to SSR rho mean sum of scale, column mean sum of scale, and error mean sum of scale. We can say that SSR is rho mean sum of scale. Rho means sum of scale. Must remember the key point. SSR shows rho mean sum of scale and SSC shows column means column means sum of scale. Must remember that key point. Now we mean that SS shows we can say that error of within sum of scales. SSE shows error or within error within is the same error or within sum of scale. So must remember that key points number one and number two four or five six. must remember that key point in one way ANOVA total sum of scale always equal to within sum of scale plus between sum of scale. You have to leave that concept. Now in two way ANOVA total sum of scale always equal to rho mean sum of scale plus Column means sum of scale and error sum of scale. Error, error sum of scale. So must remember that key point. I am telling you that. I hope that you have cleared concept in that. Now moving that six MCQs. Six MCQs is very very important. Very very easy for you. Now moving the six MCQs. Six MCQs say that in one way and over we reject S naught. Very very simple. In one way and over we reject S naught if F calculated value. C shows here C shows calculated value. Calculated value of F distribution we, we calculate in test statistic and that's F alpha V1 V2. That's a table value of F distribution. If F, F calculated value is greater than equal to F table value, if then we reject S node. So we can say that it, this is shown on one way. So must remember that in one way ANOVA we reject H node if F calculated value is greater than or equal to F alpha V1 wave. So that answer is correct, not this. We are hope that you have cleared that concept. Now moving that term. Term 7 MCQ 7 MCQ is very very important, very very easy for you. I use in cal my calculation. The term T square dot dot that's a double dot divided by N is called correction factor. So must remember that key point. The term t square dot dot over n also called correction factor. We can say that what is correction factor? We can say that the term t square double dot over n is called as correction factor. Is that clear that question? No. In one way in over test test. Now I'm moving on test testing in F. So yes, the MCQ is very very important for you. F is equal to S square B divided by S square E. I am telling the S square, sorry, S square between S square within. I am telling the key point that F is equal to S square B. S square B between sum of square. We can say that here S square B is between sum of square divided by and S square W shows within sum of square. So must remember that F is equal to S square B or S square W, which is sum of square between, and that is sum of square. Within there's a formula we use the test statistic in one way ANOVA. That's clear, right? Now must remember that keep on telling you that F is equal to we can write this S square B is equal to S square C column and within shows S square E because must remember that key point because S square B must remember that key point S square B. S square B always equal to S square C. I have already tell, told you about that. Between sum of square is always equal to column sum of square. I have told, told you already. Now, S square within, S square within, within sum of square always equal to error sum of square. So, I have hope that you have cleared in concept that. Now, we uh, now we read it. In one way ANOVA, 
test testing f is equal to s square b or s square w can also be written as f is equal to s square b to s square b is equal to s square c now s square w is equal to s square so that also is correct so must remember that key point and so i told you that f is equal to s square b or s square w can also be written as f is equal to s square c over s square e in one way ANOVA now moving that two way ANOVA in two way ANOVA degrees of freedom now moving that in the calendar key point that I show you for one way ANOVA one way that degree of freedom I show here in only one, one ANOVA but in two way degree of freedom I am telling you that now moving degrees of freedom in two way ANOVA well, that next next MCQ, next point is very very important for you. Two way ANOVA. Two way ANOVA. So must remember that in two way data test testing we have two F two test test testing F one F two F one and F two. So must remember that keep I telling you that one way we have only one F distribution. I have shown you before that. But in two way we have two F two test testing F one and F two. Now telling a key point that F one is equal to S square C divided S square E. Must remember that key point. Very very easy method. F two is equal to S square R divided by S square E. Where C shows column sum of square, error sum of square, row sum of square. That is error sum of scale. So must remember that key point. I'm telling you that which nobody tells you about that. F1 is equal to S square C divided S square D and F2 is equal to S square R or S square. We can say that F1 is for column and F2 is for row. So that key point I'm telling you uh, so we have remembered that formula. Two way we have two degree, two have and two test test C F1 and F2. I hope that you have cleared the concept in one way F and two way F1 F2. Now moving that nine and ten FCQs is very very important for you in, in which we have discussed uh, degrees of freedom. Degrees of freedom very very important and very very easy topic. Now moving that two way ANOVA. So that that MCQs are very very important for you. So don't so don't skip that video in two way ANOVA. Degrees of freedom, very very easy. We have V1 is equal to R minus 1 and V1 is equal to C minus 1 because we have two sets X in two way F1 and F2. So we have V1 is equal to R minus 1, V2 is equal to R minus C minus 1, F1. Must remember that key point. And next, V1 is equal to C minus 1 through column and V2 is equal to R minus 1, C minus 1. Always F2. So I have a mistake. Row is always for F2 and column is for F. I have told you before that F1 is for column and F2 is for row. So must remember that that degree of freedom is for F2 and that column is for, for F1. Yeah, I hope that you have cleared in concept. Now moving that in one way in our degrees of freedom are very simple. V1 is equal to K minus 1 and V2 is equal to N minus K. Must remember that in one way now V1 is equal to K minus 1 and V2 is equal to N minus K. Now we mean that mean square error in one way. In one way in our must remember that key point. I'm telling you that mean square error. Mean square and M and square mean square error is equal to sum of square error. Must remember the key point sum of square error divide k minus 1. We can say that s square e divided by k minus 1. Must remember that key point. Now ms mean square error and mean square within always equal to. Sorry, I have a sorry, mistake. Sorry, I have a mistake. Uh, ms within and ms error. ms within. Error always equal to S S W divided N minus K. I sorry I have a mistake that S S W or within W or M S error always equal to S S W over N minus K N minus K. But S S 
but n as mean and sorry sorry m as m as an error m as error we have discussed already m as columns equal to s k c divided 1 minus k we have already got k minus 1 so must remember that so sorry have, we have mistake uh, mean scale error is equal to n minus k and mean scale columns equal to k minus 1 i hope that you have cleared concepts in that sorry for mistake that thanks for watching the video if you like this video then can you must subscribe to my youtube channel and must press bell icon button for gain notification of my new lecture goodbye